An oil platform is a large structure with facilities to extract and process petroleum and a natural gas that lay in a rock formations beneath the seabed. Many oil platforms will also have a facilities to accommodate the workers, although it is also common to have a separate accommodation platform bridge linked to the production platform. Most commonly, oil platforms engage in activities on the continental shelf, though they can also be used in the lakes, inshore waters and island seas. Depending on the circumstances, the platform may be fixed to the ocean floor, consists of an artificial island or float. In some arrangements, the main facility may have storage facilities for the processed oil. Remote subsea wells may also be connected to the platform by flow lines and by umbilical connections. These subsea facilities may include one of the more subsea well or main fault centers for multiple wells. The installation process for the offshore drilling rigs involves a series of the complex and coordinated steps to assemble and position the rig at a desired offshore location. The process can be very based on the type of the drilling rig, water depth and the specific requirements of the project. The first thing is to choose the preparing location. Choose a suitable offshore location for drilling based on the geological surveys, exploration data and the regulatory considerations. Conduct a biometric survey to determine the water depth and seabed conditions. Prepare the seabed by removing any obstructions and debris and ensuring a stable foundation for the rig. After preparing the location, transport the rig, related components and equipment to the sea by the specialized means. This involves loading the rig onto a transport vessel or self-propelled rig and sailing it to the drilling site. Positioning and preloading. For jack up rings, the legs are moved over to the seabed. Reloading is often performed when ensured the legs are securely positioned and stable before lifting the rig. Hydraulic jacks are used to lift the rig above the water surface. Ballasting and stability. For semi submarine rigs, ballast tanks are very filled with the water and potentially submarine the rig. This provides stability against waves and the wind. The rig's dynamic position system or anchor system is engaged to maintain its position. Spotting in. Lower the drilling equipment into the wellbore. The process of drilling a well begins with a spotting in, which involves creating the initial borehole. Drilling operations. Continue drilling operations, which involve rotating the drill, with an extract in the rock and sediment to the create the wellbore. Circulate drilling fluids. To cool the drill bit, lift cut into the surface and maintain wellbore stability. Well control and safety. Implement well control measurements to prevent the uncontrolled release of hydrocarbons. Install a blowout preventer. Stack to control pressure and manage the well's integrity. Drilling and completion. Drill through different geological formations to reach the target tank. Depending on the well's purpose, install production casing, complete a well with perforations, and set up production tubing. It is important to note that offshore drilling is a highly regulated and environmentally sensitive process. Companies involved in offshore drilling must adhere to strict safety and environmental standards to minimize the impact of the marine ecosystems and ensure worker safety.
offshore oil and gas production. These are more challenging than the land-based installations due to the remote and harsher environment. Much of the innovation in the offshore petroleum sector concerns overcoming these challenges, including the need to provide very large production facilities. Production and drilling facilities may be very large and a large investment, such as the Troll A platform standing up on a depth of 300 meters. The trend today is to conduct more of the production operations upsea by separating water from the oil and re-injecting rather than pumping it to a platform, or by flowing to onshore, with no installations visible above the sea. Subsea installation help to exploit resources 
and progressively deeper waters, locations which had been inaccessible, and overcome challenges posed by the sea ice such as an aberrant sea. One such a challenge is the shallow environments in seabed going by drifting ice features. Offshore facilities are present logistic and human resources challenges. An offshore oil platform is a small community for itself, with cafeteria, sleeping quarters, management and other supports. In the North Sea, staff members are transported by helicopter for a two-week shift. They usually receive higher salary than their colleagues on the onshore. Supplies and waste are transported by ship, and the supply deliveries need to be carefully planned because storage space on the platform is limited. Today, much effort goes into relocating as many of the personnel as possible on shore, where management and the technical experts are in touch with the platform by the video calls. Onshore job is also more attractive for the workforce in the petroleum industry, at least in the Western world. These efforts, among others, are contained in establishment term integrated operations. The increased use of the subsea facilities helps achieve the objective of keeping more workers on shore. Subsea facilities are also easier to expand, with new separators or different modules for different oil types, and are not limited by the fixed food space and above water installation.